Graffiti culture is weird. Uh, it's built upon um, street art and expressing yourself uh, when you can't. And it's a crime in itself, which makes it uh, very liberating to do, especially ones that are mad at how their city is being run or who's controlling them in general. It's the forbidden fruit tastes the sweetest, I guess. The illegal art's gonna be the most fun. Like, sure, I can sit in my room and write on a book my name, but if I go paint something on a wall outside, that's, that's something completely different. Street art, graffiti, um, my family's pretty much artists, so I would like jack my dad's spray paint, because I would travel from the county to the city, and I would see like a bunch of KSW pieces, Dame, Mirror, which all wound up being my good, my good friends, and we paint still to this day. But, um, you know, I would paint in my area, we were skating around, and like, you know, I had a couple walls by my house, and I was just always infatuated with like the the beauty of like how fucked up it was, like like trash on the train tracks with this crazy art everywhere. You know what I mean? It meant a lot. Like it's something that I like. Yeah, pretty much. You know, I. Yeah. You know, I'm from Baltimore, so we painted around here. I've done a couple big pieces that are still up that are actually still seen to this day along the highways and stuff. So they're always fun to go back and see, but like adventurous. Me and the homie Mecca, I've, he came out to San Diego after I was there. And um, I took him out into Anza Borrego Desert. It's like an hour and a half east of San Diego and uh, this place called the Impossible Railroad. It, uh, it's an old abandoned railroad that like, the, the terrain is too treacherous for the rails to like operate, so they abandoned it. And it looks like Magic Mountain in Disney. Like it's, it feels like you're in a Disney ride. That's how like real it is. Like you're legit stepping over top rattlesnakes and stuff and scorpions, it's gnarly. But there's these abandoned trains everywhere and they're like super, remote and you have to like hike for miles. I mean, it's, you know, today's world with Instagram and like, you know, all these like urbex, like urban explorer people. I mean, that's kind of how I found it, but you know, just passenger trains that are old sitting there and like in the middle of nowhere with like all this art on it. Like, of course I'm gonna go take that trek and paint that, of course. So we show up and we kind of messed up because we left a little late and I didn't know how far it was. So, uh, excuse me. It got dark on us and we're like, shit, what are we gonna do? We wound up having to sleep out there. And we still haven't found all the trains yet because we were on a mission, you know what I mean? Like, we brought all this paint, we're gonna hit something. And um, it was crazy. Like, it went from super hot to super cold. I mean, we had to find stuff to burn and uh, Everyone's, uh, everyone was getting on edge with everyone. There was three of us and there was some arguments and like, it was kind of funny because like no one could hear us, but we're screaming at the top of our lungs at each other, painting trains, stepping over rattlesnakes. Oh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I've been caught. <laughs> Paid some fines, you know. I guess it depends on how much you do or what, what you paint maybe, you know, but um, I handled it, whatever, no big deal. You just gotta watch your stuff, you know, you gotta be like a little ninja, or not be sloppy. I had one too many of these and I was painting and got sloppy and got caught. I wasn't on my P's and Q's, so. Learning lesson. Now, why do you paint? Why do I paint? Well, it's an outlet for expression. I feel like it comes natural. If I wanna go blow off some steam, you know, it just feels good to create something with like a tool that a lot of people 
most people, like, I can't draw a stick figure. Like I've heard that so many times and I'm like, whatever. But uh, I don't know, it's just creative and like it's got me into some really gnarly situations with like the way things are going now. Um, I paint for the fun of it and it's just fun. You know, it's my creation, no one can tell me what to do. You know, like um, I'm about to go to Vegas tomorrow and start Graffiti Mansion part three. Um, we're gonna paint the whole 6,000 square foot mansion that my boy Armani owns. Um, a Fortnite theme that's like a really popular video game and so they got like a bunch of uh, sponsors to sponsor it and it's just like you know knowing that it started in the streets or whatever and I've gotten in trouble but then you know oh let's fly you out to Vegas and be this gnarly reality YouTube thing and like like no one what we have planned like no one no one's ready for it so that's pretty cool to like you know, have something under your, your belt that like you're about to blow up on. And then last question, when someone walks by your piece, what do you want their immediate reaction to be? Sometimes I want them to be offended. Sometimes I want them to be like, ah, you know, sometimes I want them to take a selfie in front of it. Or sometimes I want them to be like, man, that belongs there. I'd rather have that than like some bullshit that the city goes around and just buffs everything. And you got 10 different colors on the wall. It's all chipping off. It's like, why don't these people open their eyes up and go, I'm, I own a building in an art community, right? Why don't we merge and do that? I mean, you know, I'm old enough to know right and wrong. Keep, not keep, keep, kid, bleh, keep kids off the streets. But, you know, I mean, shit, I could be going committing a crime just like anyone else, you know? I'm just, but I'm there, I'm creating. I mean, like, it's like beautifying the neighborhood and, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's just so lame. I mean, like, I like blank walls when they're colored properly, you know? But like, in a city like Baltimore, and how gnarly it is, like, it needs that. It needs the essence, like, you know, maybe subliminally people see it but they don't know how it affects them you know what I mean so you paint messages like you paint messages and pictures and stuff to like I guess uh, stay in tune with the people that that need it you know for whatever reason that they could use it for you know nothing bad but you know in today's society like sometimes I'll paint some offensive stuff sometimes I'll paint a girl's name with some flowers like Whatever. Yeah. The spot, the location. Yeah, my homeboy just moved into a building up the road. It says a no shoot zone. Like, the city's so bad that you have to spray paint no shoot zone. A, it's ugly. A, it's ugly art. It's not even art. It's just like a message that some random painted. I mean, but yet it's a message. And I mean, I like it because it's spray paint and it's like, I don't know, something about how crazy this city is really turns me on because I have a pretty gnarly past with this city, but I've got my shit together and like, you know, I want to not play both sides, but like, I don't know, just like do stuff that I'm learning on and people are, respecting slash like getting a message you know what I mean so yeah yeah so we're gonna take this no shoot zone at this specific location and we're gonna turn it into some something like it is now but just way more colorful like I mean they sell drugs on that block right there right in front of a sign that says no shoot zone like they don't give a they don't care so, not that my art's gonna stop that, or anyone's art is, but it's just like, maybe the universe will be like, hey, there's something good about this. So, I don't know. Yeah, in a nutshell.